Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. Take that bit out, and then we've got Helper G just a little bit further back. I'm just going to skip the night now. I'm going to bring you over to there. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm, I'm going to actually, I'm going to jump over to here in shed and we're going to skip the night we're not going to worry about that we've now done the harvest that was something that was it was really touch and go fortunately we were able to actually get it done i did i did sort of feel that i was letting the team down a bit there by not by, by suggesting that i wasn't going to do the harvest so i'm i'm quite glad that we ultimately did end up doing the harvest i, I really am i i feel that i feel that's something to be proud of now and we have a problem. We've now gone to minus two degrees. It's now midwinter. The ground is minus two degrees. Everything is minus two. I don't think that the plow is actually going to work. Uh, I want to go in here a second and I want to have a look at the animals. We're all right in there. Uh, we're all right in there for the moment. And milk, we've only got 51,000 litres for the cows right now. And we're doing all right in there for food as well. So we're all, we're, we're kind of we're kind of doing all right. We haven't got any major issues. But because everything is frozen solid, that means that we've got ice here on the pond, right here. We've got ice right across the pond here. Uh, so I'm gonna slow that down to one time speed a minute, and we're going to yeah. The, you, you're the one that I want to do stuff with. You're definitely the one that I want to do stuff with. I just want to have a look through some of these other bits a minute. Um, now, there was one thing. I was told that there is some more water that has, like, got the ice thing on it. And I haven't actually seen it yet. I haven't found it. Now, it's... it's other, I, I was told that it was other ponds. I need to look for the other ponds. There are other ponds around. And we need to try and find them. Because this is going to be our last winter here. So we've got frozen water up here on this pond and we've got that there's a there was a pond there i don't remember where the other ponds are we need to have a look here so we've got there's a pond there and there's a pond there in the middle of the yard i don't think there are any other ponds so we got frozen water up there and we got frozen water down there i don't know if we got frozen water in any other locations there may be. We'll have a look out on the ocean. There's, there's, there's certainly nothing over this side. So we'll come back all the way along here. Maybe there's something close to the... There's, there's nothing on the coastline over this side. Terrain cannot be modified here. And then we've got a BGA plant over here. And then we've got the ocean and everything out over this way. So yeah, it's, it's the... It's the pond up the top there, and then the pond in behind the house is where we've got these bits. Now, the other bit that I want to do is I want to look in here. Because I came up there and drove in a line down across here. And I got a feeling that I went across there a little bit too high. Just up there. I got a feeling that I went and did that. I went and drove across there. So that means that we need to be able to buy this field right here, which we don't have the money to do. So I'm going to go... Actually, before I, I suppose I could just... No, I'm not going to. I was... I was I'm, I'm thinking out loud. This, this is probably a bad idea. Um, I can barely keep two thoughts together as it is. If I go in here and I sell the milk that we've got from these cows, so I go there and I sell that lot, 53,000, that puts us up to 255,000 litres, then I can go back into here, land, and I can buy that bit right there. That's going to ensure that we do have the right track going on the land that we want to get. So now I want to jump onto you. I've got this course. We've got big field outside. So I want to go like this. Now what I want to do is I want to go course generation. But before, actually, before I do that, let's unfold. I'm going to take you. And I'm going to unfold this one. Is it going to put the edge of the course on the edge of where we did our original marking out? That's the bit that I need to know. 
Because if it doesn't, that means that we've got that completely wrong. I don't think we have. I think we have got this right. I think it's the middle of where the tractor was. So we've 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 folded it out like this. And now I want to go to course generation in here. And <laughs> look at that course. <laughs> that is absolutely insane. And it's that bit up there that I'm not really sure about. So <laughs> this this is brilliant. This this is absolutely amazing. Okay, and we're going to call this, we, we can't do it yet, we, we, we need to calculate the edge of the field when we do this. I suppose actually, I, I've got this course and we've got like the, the edges of some of the fields here that are marked out. But then when we do calculate the edge of the field for the new field, it won't keep this, will it? It'll keep something different. Not really sure. Field edge path, currently loaded course, that's what we're going to do. So we want to go... Uh, headland around, we want to do three passes on the headland and go clockwise, headland pass, headland corners, we want turn, I uh, don't want to do anything else. Now, is this going to actually work? Are we going to generate a course here? I think it could take a while. It could take quite a while to calculate where it's going to go. Is it going to crash it? Is it going to make everything just give up? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Everything's frozen up for a minute. All right, it did it. It took a minute or two for it to calculate the edge of the field, but we have actually got a fully calculated run all the way through here. There's a strange line going on up there. There's a, the, something a little bit weird going on with that. I'm not quite sure what that's all about. Uh, it's got a few extra bits over here, but it's got the really, really long runs. Honestly, I thought it would go that way with doing the um, long runs, but it hasn't done that. It's, it's gone over to there. So I'm not quite sure how it does this, whether it sort of, like, it, it'll go up to there, I think, and then it will do one little bit, and then it will do another little bit, and then a little bit. But does it, like, go up to here? Let's have a look. Like, it goes in here, it goes up there, and then it runs all the way over here, and then it goes that side, and it comes back. Yes, it does. It doesn't just, oh. Some of this it does like uh, in a normal kind of way, but then other bits it seems to do part of it and then run all the way up over to the next bit. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how it's calculating where it's going to do all of its trotting and running around. But we've got a course in there. We have actually got a course in there and look at where the middle of the course is. That's even better. So we want to save this course. This is big field plow right there. Okay. Anything I do to this course is going to make the game kind of um, just take a little while to, to remember what it's got to do. Uh, now, the other thing, I don't need to give the no, do anything to the field, do I? No, I, just, I, I literally just need to do drive course now. So let's do that a minute. The soil is frozen. You can't work it. Stop driver. Right, so I will clear the course. I will bring you back. I can't do anything now until the ground thaws out. So we, we need to... We just keep time ticking by really quickly. I was hoping to get some of the stuff done before winter finished but apparently that is not going to happen so what we will do is we will fold these up and we will fold up the combine as well and we're just going to go and park the combine over in this field over here out of the way we're not going to worry about the other fields the only thing that we want to do now is we want to get through and uh, we need to focus on the big harvest the other ground that we've got is now going to lie fallow for one year we've got plenty of food for the animals so we don't need to worry about that they're not going to run out of food we've got loads of it here so we'll be able to keep them all fed through the long winter months well actually it's like three days of winter and so we, we we'll, we'll be able to do that it's milk we want milk coming in from the cows I don't know how much milk we're going to get from the cows, but we're going to want, you know, we, we will be wanting some of that. And then the other thing was, when do we want to sell our pigs? 
We need to make sure we sell the pigs at the right time. Today, actually. We want to be selling the pigs today. We want to sell as many pigs as we can today. So I'm just going to leave you there a second and ignore that trailer. And we'll run over here. Jump into here like this. And I've got several pigs there. Uh, quite lightweight. And then we've got a lot of pigs here that are approaching 300 pounds. Actually, I need, I need to change this over. We, we need to be on the different... Um, scale now. We want to be on kilometers. So we want to go to you and you and we want to be on kilometers and we want to be on euros like that. That's what we need to be on. And, and we can come back into here and it's half past two in the afternoon. So let's slow it down a minute so that we can go in here and we can figure out what it is that we want to do. Uh, these are 95 and 100 kilos and we've got quite a lot there at 120 130 150 kilos loads here now at over 130 kilos and then the adult ones are 230 they've gone up a little bit so i would say anything that is over 100 kilos we're going to sell it we're going to sell every single pig that we've got that is over 100 kilos apart from the older adults we will keep them so I need to move. Actually, I, I want to do this from the top. It's going to be easy because you, you, you scroll down with it. So we want to go up to here. And we'll start here. Those at 95. You know what? I think we could just add the ones in at 95. There's, there's close enough to our target of 100 kilos. And then these here... These are all way over 100 kilos. This is also going to make it a lot easier to feed the pigs right through the winter. There is hardly going to be any food required at all for them. And then in the spring, we will get a whole load more. Well, actually, they will start producing more piglets as we go along anyway. Uh, you know what? I can just press and hold this like this i just got to keep a close eye on those numbers right there because they do start to change pretty quickly uh keep running through them there Ooh, nicely done right these are the adults these are two years old we come down below anything with the 200 kilo mark and we get to there so then i can start moving these over again Anything over 100 kilos, this is going to be some of the best prices we get. Look, we have 586 euros per pig there. Some of them are over 600, the really heavy weights. And then the weights are coming down a little bit. No, they're still all right. It's still over 500 euros a pig. 95 kilos over there. They're 456 euros each. This is amazing. Like, there is a lot of money tied up in here. I just got rid of some of the 70 kilo ones as well. Uh, half dozen of those. We'll, we'll put those back. The 70 kilo ones, they can stay. There, confirmed. That's going to get us 158,000. We lose 33,000 because we're not carrying them to market ourselves. But honestly, I don't want to have to ferry all of these pigs over to the market. So we get 160, 158, yeah, almost 160,000 euros for selling all of those pigs. That puts us up to 236,000. We need still more. We're going to need more than that. We're going to want, in total, we're going to need... Right, that's 2,930 there. I, I, want to, I want to be able to empty this one out completely. Um, we're going to want, ultimately... Actually, I'll tell you what I also want. I want to have a look in here. Right, you're fine for food. And you're absolutely fine for food and straw because I've gotten rid of them all. And you should be all right until the morning. They should be fine until the morning. So we will keep them until the morning. A little tiny bit of mixed ration left. Okay, still a little tiny bit. That's that, that's fine as well. Uh, the chickens should be all right until morning. The pigs are absolutely fine at the moment. They got way more food than they need because we've just gone and got rid of a whole load of them. So we don't need to concern ourselves with them. All I want to do is get this one back under that spout so that I can start reloading it. Ready to feed the cows again tomorrow. I don't want to be turning around quite that sharply. Bring you out over here like there we go that's a bit there we go like that there and start that one and then we can run over and we can sleep the night again 
237,000. We need about a million dollars to be able to buy the seed drill that we want for this massive great big field and the rest of it as well. Now I am obviously I am disappointed that we're not going to be able to do our ploughing just yet. I'm hoping that the ground will warm up before the end of winter. Like it's minus one degree now. If it gets above freezing, we'll be all right. As so long as the ground will heat above freezing, we will eventually be able to do it. So let's have a look at the weather forecast. Uh, minimum temperature to minus one, minus seven there on Saturday. So we've got a cold blast right there on the Saturday. A couple days time and then it heats up. So average temperature maximum. Yeah, that's going to be a cold day, that is. We, I, I, I don't think the ground temperature is going to warm up. Not enough, anyway. Let's have a look in here again. How are we doing with our animals? Uh, we've got nothing in for the chickens. They, well, actually, see, the chickens are starting to age now. So I'm wondering if we should sell the chickens and then we can wait until the spring. And that's one less thing that I've actually got to worry about. Let's have a look in here. They're 1.7 years old. They're getting older, these chickens. Let's, uh, we'll just slow down time a second because... Um, they start to lose condition if we don't have any food in for them. And, like here, they, they oh, age one year. They're mature, 1.4, 1.5 years. What are we doing with chickens? We've got, we've got a lot of males in here. We ought to be getting, you know what, we, we are, we're just going to sell, I suppose, we, well, we want to sell most of them. So I need to go in this way, and then I need to go through, and I actually need to filter out all of the males. Well, there's not that many. I thought there'd be more than that. Let's start putting some of these across then. That's going to give us a little bit more space in the chicken pen. How many shall I leave behind? I was wondering about this. Uh, Because I, de I definitely want to get rid of some of them. And I'm, I, I am seriously considering just getting rid of all of the chickens so that we don't need to... Well, it's, it's one less thing that we've got to worry about. But on the other hand, these, these chickens aren't doing too bad for us. Like they, They've served us well. The, the, the rooster there is um, getting on a bit. He's two and a half years old now for a chicken. That's, that's getting on a bit. Um, um, mind you, we have got 400 chickens. It, it, this is a lot of chickens. These are all 2.2 years old. Are they too old? I think they do eventually die of old age, don't they? Is that something that hap is that something that happens with chickens? I'm not really sure. I think they might, but uh, we'll we'll just uh, we'll go through and just get rid of the males. Then we'll we'll, we'll just do that. We'll, we'll slaughter all of the males, and we will keep all of the females. And that one rooster. There we go, and then we're getting rid of several. We're not going to make much money by doing this, but you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm just going to get rid of the rest of the ones that are here. I know that they are young animals that I'm getting rid of at the moment, but honestly, I, I think it will be fine. Let's just, let's just do that a minute there. Oops, okay, I got rid of too many. Uh, yeah, that's that's fine. We'll, we'll confirm we'll get rid of those, and then we can get some new ones. See, 600 euros, that's it. That's all you get coming in, 600 euros from selling those. So it's, it's not really worth trying to do the chickens. Like, those are supposed to be meat and egg animals, but I honestly, unless you're going to be doing loads and loads of pens of them, it just doesn't seem worth the effort, does it? Uh, yeah, food for you. I, I need to put food in for you. You're all right till the morning, and you are also okay. They're, they're starting to come down a little bit now on their food, but they're, they're still absolutely fine. So all i got to do is leave you and you. What do I want? I want my... I want the other tractor. That's what I want. I want this one here. I'll put you out like that. Uh, there. Then I want to go to this tractor and I want to just unload the sunflowers from this combine. Then I want to go and load up these three trailers with our grain again that we've been doing in the past. So we will have... Normal, we'll have uh, normal. We'll have wheat or barley in the front trailer, and then uh, the protein crop in the centre trailer, and the rear trailer will have the corn in it. 
I think is how we're going to do this. So I need to just ditch this bit that I've got on me at the moment. And I will do that. I'll come up here. We'll run in here like this onto the bridge. We will tip you out there. Just a few sunflowers coming out. And then I need to spin round so that I can start getting some grain into this thing. I'll bring you right round like that. Am I going to be able to get under there? Just. Just get... Okay, I, I think we're going to use barley on this one. Just something tells me that barley would probably be the best option for us. And we'll end up using quite a bit. So what I'll do is just run this one over to the chickens. And then we can come back round when we need to feed everything again and load it all up. And I'm still not fast forwarding time because the chickens have got no food at all. And they're going to starve. We'll end up losing too much condition on our poor chickens. No, I'm quite happy to get rid of all of the chickens. I just don't want to keep them here and keep starving them because that is unnecessary. We, we don't need to be doing things like that. There. We've just got four and a half thousand liters of... No. Three and a half thousand liters of food in for the chickens. So I can fill this one up and then we've got that combine that we want to just go and move over into the other field. Well, I, I might move it into the other field. I'll see how I f what I feel like in a minute. And then we can drop you into there. We've got barley, oats. We've got loads of canola. We've got loads of... We'll use canola in here because that doesn't sell for as much as the sunflowers do. And we want to have a look at the prices as well. So we've got more money here that we'll be able to get from selling our crops. So sunflowers right there. Best price for them is the first day of spring by the look of it. And canola, best price, we've already gone past the best price for canola. So we will sell the sunflowers. We're not going to be selling any of the rest of it. Then we've got corn to go into the back trailer over here, like this. And we've got lots of corn. We've got a little bit of soybean in there as well, which I suppose we could have used up. Let's just load that one up. And then I will go and park these three trailers in undercover. And that, actually, we can go and skip the night now. We just once we get these under cover, we can go and skip the night. The pigs have got a little tiny bit of straw. We'll put some more straw in for them tomorrow. We won't worry about that today. We'll bring you under here like this. Stop you right there. Hang on. Let, let's uh, let, let's check these animals again and make sure that they are right. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine as well. And now you're going to be fine as well. Okay. Well, it's middle of the day. It's a little bit early for sort of calling it quits, but I, I think we'll be all right. I think we can just, like, wait just a minute and let's skip the night again. Just gone half past four should be sufficient that we can skip the night. There we go. 16 hours of bed rest. Is that temperature, ground temperature going to go up? No. Okay. That's disappointing. I was hoping the ground temperature might climb up a little bit. We've got a great demand at Grain Elevator East. What are you great demanding? What are you great demanding? Uh, you're not. That great demand has already expired. <laughs> That's not doing us any good anymore. We've got 2,200 there at Port South East. 2,357 right there at Selling Station Generic. That's a pretty good price. Anyway, that, that doesn't make it's the first day of spring that we want to be selling our sunflowers. That's that's when the price see, it goes higher there and it goes higher still. So first day of spring, after hopefully we've got the ploughing underway, we'll be able to start selling the sunflower seeds. Now let's have a look at you. Your mixed ration is deteriorating, but we ought to be able to get this one round before you completely run out of food. Which means that I don't need to slow down the inexorable passage of time. So we can get through today as rapidly as possible. Which means a boatload. Uh, well, I was going to say a boatload more money. Um, there's a, there should be a boatload more milk coming in. That would be absolutely wonderful. There we go. Let's, let's uh, just tip you into... Yep, that's absolutely fine. Right. Those are doing great. So then I can go over to you. And we'll do the same. We're going to run over to the chickens and then we'll run round to the pigs and we'll tip this stuff out. And then we're going to need to get some straw in for the pigs. We'll do that as well. So I'm going to bring you over this way. Bring you up to that one right there and tip that barley out. 
Shouldn't need anywhere near as much as we had yesterday. Nope, not even close. And then I go over to the pigs. Now, it's not going to take a great deal on the pigs at the moment because we don't have that many pigs in here. I mean, how many do we have? We have 171 pigs at the moment. It's not a huge amount. We did have the pig pen completely 100% full. Now, obviously, it will get back up to full, but... Probably not before we've actually finished this series. So there's that one into there. And then we've got the canola being tipped in. And then finally we will have the corn be tipped in as well. So we see we're only putting like a thousand litres of each into the pens. That one goes in there. Uh, out of 21,000 that's gone down. Yeah, 2,289 litres of grain have gone into that pen. So not very much at all. It's not going to take very much straw either. I'll just go there and unhitch that one. And then I can go into the straw. Pick this bit up. So back into you like that. And away we go. You see how quick we hitched up there? That's, that's the advantage of having a quick hitch system. Um, obviously, if you try to hitch like that in real life, you're... Um, your machine would not end up looking all that good. But we're not exactly doing things according to real life right here. We're just trying to get things done as quickly as possible so that we can do our absolutely enormous great big field that we've got set up over there. And now that we've got a lot less pigs, we're also using less straw, which is going to make life easier for us. So I can bring you back here and plonk you under cover. We'll do the straw first on our next pass. So stop you there and then... Right, you can start folding up, actually. If I start you up, uh, I will start folding that one. And I need to put the spout in before we die. I love that bit. That bit right there. I really, really love the bit where it folds that one up. It, it looks, it does, it, it genuinely looks really, really awesomely cool. There's something about it. I don't know what it is, but there is something about it that is just incredibly satisfying to watch um i don't i don't know if it's just me um, i might be the only person that really thinks that and i'll bring you over to there and you can stop as well yeah that's everything done except for uh no 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 which way am i going I'm, i, I want to go yeah this, this is what i'm looking for okay you're emptied out. It's getting late now. I can't... See. You, you would probably help if I had some lights on. There. Look at that. Oops. Now I can actually see what I'm doing. I will bring this trailer in over here. And I can get that one starting to be loaded up with a little bit more mixed ration. Let's just bring you back like that. Wiggle you on round. There we go. Right. Wiggle you on round there. And... Start loading you up, and then I can run over here and go and get some sleep. It is 7 o'clock in the evening. Now, soil temperature, late winter, day 5, minus 1 degree soil temperature. As soon as the soil temperature gets above freezing, we might be able to actually do something. I need to, there we go, right, sleep. I can have 14 hours now, and I like how our money is constantly going up. Now the soil temperature is minus four. This last day of winter is the one that was, yeah, this is the one that was scheduled for being really, really bitterly cold. We've got a great demand here. Oh, that's for corn. That's no good for us. And this is going up. We've got 2,500 there at the grain mill. But this is still not the highest day for prices for sunflowers. Sunflowers there. First day of spring. That's the one that we want for our sunflowers. Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that, if you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.